Good morning. I thought I would start today with a story by Mary Pope Osborne. And it's a Magic Tree House book, Vacation Under the Volcano. Okay. And before I start to read, I wonder if we remember where we ended on our traveling through ancient times. Let's see. I believe it was Greece. So now we're traveling to Rome. And Rome is in Europe. And I happen to have my globe here at home. And Rome is right here. Okay. And I have Blue, my dog, joining me for our story. So let's begin. Chapter one, a secret code. Jack reached into his drawer and took out his secret library card. He held the tiny piece of wood and ran his finger over its shimmering letters, ML. Master Librarian, he whispered. Jack couldn't believe that he and his sister Annie were finally Master Librarians. He wondered if he should pack the secret card to take on vacation. His family was about to leave for a week in the mountains. Jack, or sorry, just then Annie stuck his head into Jack's room. Want to check out the woods? She asked. Every morning they looked in the Frog Creek woods to see if Morgan Le Fay and her magic tree house had returned. We can't, said Jack. We're leaving soon. But what if Morgan's there, said Annie. What if she's waiting for us? Oh, okay, said Jack. Let's look fast. He grabbed his backpack, he threw in his notebook, his pencil, and a secret library card. Then he followed Annie downstairs. We'll be back soon, Annie called. Don't go far, their dad called. We're leaving in 20 minutes. Oh, don't worry, we'll be back in 10, said Annie. Right, thought Jack. Five minutes to the woods and five minutes back. Even if Morgan sent them on an adventure, they would return exactly the same time that they left. Jack and Annie ran out their front door. In the bright morning sunshine, they hurried across the lawn and down the street. I had a nightmare last night, said Annie. What was it, said Jack. I dreamt fires were burning, said Annie. Everything was smoky and dark and the ground was shaking. Do you think it was a warning? Nah, said Jack. Nightmares never come true. They left the sidewalk and headed into the Frog Creek woods. The woods were quiet and peaceful. They walked between sunlit trees until they came to the tallest oak in the woods. Yay, said Annie. There it was, the magic tree house, and Morgan Le Fay was waving from the window. Hail, master librarians, she said. Jack and Annie bowed playfully. At your service, at your service, said Annie. Then, come up, said Morgan. They grabbed their rope ladder and started up. When they climbed inside the treehouse, they found Morgan holding a book and a piece of paper. I have an important miss mission for you, she said. Are you ready? Yes, they both answered. Jack's heart pounded. Ever since Morgan had made them master librarians, he had been longing for their first mission. You know I collect books for Camelot's library, she said. Jack and Annie nodded. Well, there have been many great libraries lost in history, said Morgan, and with them we have lost many wonderful stories. That's so sad, said Annie. It is, said Morgan, but luckily with the help of the treehouse and you two master librarians, some of those stories can be saved, such as this one. Morgan showed them the piece of paper. There was strange writing on it. It said something like, verse of first, Fertissimus in Mundo. Hmm, is that a secret code? said Jack. Morgan smiled. 
in a way she said, actually, it's the title of a lost story. It's written in Latin, the language of the ancient Romans of Italy. Ancient Romans, said Jack, hmm. He loved anything to do with ancient Roman times. Yes, said Morgan. This story was in the library in a Roman town. I need you to get it before the library becomes lost forever. No problem, said Annie. Do you have your secret library cards? Asked Morgan. Yes, said Jack. Good, do not lose them. The right people will know what they mean, said Morgan. And as usual, here is a book to help you. Morgan handed Jack a book called Life in Roman Times. The cover showed a Roman town with people wearing tunics and sandals. That looks great, said Jack. And take this, the name of the story I need, said Morgan. She handed a piece of paper to Jack and he put it in his pack. Remember, said Morgan, your research book will guide you. But remember, in your darkest hour, only the ancient story can save you. But first, you must find it. Jack and Annie nodded. Go now, Morgan said softly. And don't forget what I just told you. Thanks, said Jack. He pointed at the cover book of the Roman Times. I miss, I wish we could go there, he said. The wind started to blow. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. I'm going to help you blend in. Morgan shouted above the wind. Okay? What do you mean? shouted Jack. Before Morgan could answer, the treehouse started to spin. It's been faster and faster and faster and faster than everything was still. Absolutely still. Oh, cool, whispered Annie. Look at us. I wonder what they look like, right? Should I read another chapter? Okay, hold on. <laughs>